Welcome back. In this follow-up video, we will cover the remaining topics of DMAP. In the previous video, we have discussed about joints, match model, and reject rows. In this video, we will be discussing about filtering the input data and filtering the output data. So, in order to fil filter the input data, for each component, we will have the option of filtering the data. So, for example, let's say, if you want to filter the data on orders, we have to go to the, go to that component and click on the edit and disable, edit or disable expression filter. So, this option, enable or disable expression filter. And then we can drag and drop that particular column and start filtering the data based on the column. So, for this tutorial, I will be taking the example of return, returned column. If you go to the returns data set in the returned column, you will be considering only the records which has the value as S. The other values will be filtered and it will be captured in the reject flow. So, let's go ahead and apply the filter condition by selecting the enable or disable expression filter right beside the settings. Map, tmap settings option is there right beside that we have enable or disable expression filter. So, we have placed our filter criteria and then apply okay we haven't changed anything all we did is we put a filter condition for our input flow and then run the job so what will happen is these two records will be captured as part of the reject flow and only this value will be pushed forward to the main flow Let's go ahead and see. So, one record went through the main flow that is yes, because what we did, we filtered the rest of the records, and only one record will be passed to the main, passed through the main flow. So, that one record went through here and rest all the four rejected records have been captured in the reject flow. So, these are the two one, two order IDs which do not have a match with the orders data and these two records because of our filter condition, these two records are also filtered. So, similarly, We can also filter the data on the output. So, let's go ahead and remove this filter condition from the source. So, we did the join of these two sources and let's say, let's save and run and see the data first and then we will discuss more about the filter condition that we want to apply on the output. Okay, so if we see here, we have three records output from the main flow. We have S, not applicable and no. So, what if we want to get only the records which has a, in the written column has only S in it. So, for that, similarly the way we did filtering the data on the source side, we can do the data on the output side. So, this is input side and this is the output side. We first of all in the first as a as part of the first step we have applied the filter condition on the input side. Now, we will be applying the filter condition on the output side. So, go, go ahead here click on this one take the return either we can do this or we can drag it from there as well. We can 
drag it from here, drop it, and copy paste the filter condition. So what we are saying, we we are getting the return column from the returns data set, and we are saying give me only the records which has the flag as S. So apply. Okay, this we have applied on the output. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So there you go. So we have got only one record and rest of the two records are filtered. So not applicable and no are filtered. These two are filtered, and this one highlighted in the red as moved to the main flow. So let's go ahead and see the value. So returned as S has been passed to the main flow, and the other two records are filtered out. These two records are filtered out. So that is how we can filter the data in TMAP both on the input window as well as on the output window we can perform the filter filtering the data we can apply filter conditions both on input flow and output flow so when we want to filter the data it's better to filter the data uh, before we even read the data before even we do the join after joining both the sources if at all we want to filter out the data we can filter out the data in the output window usually this option will we will use when let's say if you want to filter out the records when we do a lookup and we don't find any match if uh, the return value is coming as null if you want to return all such records then the only option to filter them is in the output so that's that's pretty much it for this video we have covered all the options available in tmap we can do the join we can filter the rows both on the input and output and one option I, I would like to cover is variable ports so in tmap we will have variable ports with this we can create custom columns the columns which are not present in the source but are created in the talent so let's say if you want to have a So let's say if you want to have a date for our creation when the record is created. So we can pass a system date so th this way we can create the custom columns let's go ahead and save the mapping And let's run the job. So, created it. So, this custom column has been 
created. So tmap can also be used to create the custom columns as well as to transform the data. For example, customer name. So if we want to scrub the data or cleanse the data, that uh, those options are also available in Tmap. So let's go ahead and use the uppercase function. So we have used the function upper on the name. So let's see the name before. So the customer name. This is how we are getting the data from the source. Now we applied the function upper. We have got the customer name, all the letters in upper characters. So, to, to sum up, Tmap can be used to join a number of data sources. So, the source which is linked first to the Tmap will be considered as the main flow, and rest all the sources connected later to the Tmap will be considered as lookup sources. We can filter the data on the input side. Also, we can filter the data on the output side. We can always capture the rejected records both on the join side as well as on the output rejects. If at all we are using any filter conditions, if the data is getting rejected because of those filter conditions, we can capture the data. We can use variable ports to, if at all we have a requirement of custom, custom columns or audit columns, in that case we can use the variable ports. As well as we can do data cleansing, data scrubbing as we discussed. So that's pretty much it for this video. You all have a wonderful day.